Preparing for FS1, for exam, can be a little bit challenging since you all know that there wouldn't always be enough time for you to solve all the questions in your exam. Besides, you have a few days left to your exam. In this video, I would like to show you some important tricks in which you can use to prepare for your FS1 for exams, uh, even if you have not really covered much in your syllabus. What I want to say is this, if you have not clicked on the subscribe button, make sure you do that now and also on the notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video like this. Without wasting enough time, let's head over to our video for today. Over the years, there has been a track record of academic failure when it comes to a first one for exam. So it won't make sense for you to start your academic year with bad grades. That means, uh, to you, success is non-negotiable. Before I move on properly to the, the tricks in preparing for your first one for exam, I would like to point out something very important. That is the tools needed for preparing for a first one for exam. For example, you need your calculator. You need to get a very good calculator, the one you have been using. Or the one you are familiar with in short another thing is you need, you need to get your writing materials your pen your paper you need to get them ready and also your laptop make sure you get a very good laptop that you know that when you are doing your exam it won't actually disappoint you in your exam and also a stable internet so that it will kind of increase your speed anytime you are solving in what in your exam because when you get an internet provider that is very slow when you are using a slow network page will not actually load faster so it's kind it will kind of reduce your efficiency in your exam so make sure you get a better internet the one that works good in your area now let's now move on properly to the tricks and methods in preparing for your first one for exam i would like to divide this section into three parts that is before your exam during your exam and after your exam now what should you be doing before your exam first thing is that you want to organize yourself you want to set up a study plan you want to set up a time working timetable for yourself the next thing is to do what is to itemize the essential topics for FS114. Now, before you have rejected the essential topics for your FS114, next thing is to get your past question. Okay, past question is very important because it will kind of give you a prototype of the questions you are going to meet in your exam. Now, it's always be good for you to get the test question, the last year test question, and last year exam question. Next thing is to do what is to start solving topic wise. I always advise students to. Start to study topic wise because it will kind of give you uh, a line of thoughts you will know the topics you've covered you know the topics that are left for you to be what to be covered now what i want to say is this you can actually go to a mark with Mark's channel and on getting there you can for what your playlist then you check for uh fs114 series series on fs114 i've actually done a series on fs114 based on the topics let's move on to during the exam the very first thing i want to do is to do what is to pray to god Praying to God is very, very important because the Bible says the also is prepared for the day of the battle for the safeties of the Lord. After that, you need to do what? You need to read the instruction carefully. Please, I will beg you that you should read your instruction carefully because instructions serve as guidelines for you to answer your questions. Read the instruction, fill in the necessary information you are required of to fill and start your exam. Okay, so when starting your exam, you need to calculate you need to do a little bit of time management. You need to calculate the number of hours you are given and the number of questions you are given. Okay? So let's say you are given 70 questions in your exam and you are given 2 hours. That means average you need to spend about 1.5 to 1.7 in your exam. That means that per question you need to spend about 1.5 minutes to 1.7 minutes in answering a particular question. Anytime you are asking your questions and you see a question that is wasting your time, what you need to do is to do what is to skip that question because if you don't skip it you actually see a question you can actually solve in less time so the point is that don't waste time on questions that is taking your time because if you waste your time on the question that is taking your time you would actually discover that there are even more simpler questions that you can solve less than one minute okay last thing now after the exam if your exam went well don't be too happy if your exam didn't go well don't be too sad the point is that you need to get yourself prepared for your other courses so that you will have that desired academic excellence and i pray that almighty god will grant you success in all your exam thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video if you've enjoyed this video make sure you click on the subscribe button and also on the like button and if you see that there is something we don't mention you can actually put your comments in the comment section box below Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye.